Hey everyone, it's Kim and welcome to the 34 week pregnancy vlog. As you can see, we have slightly different scenery. Um, we rearranged some of the furniture in the house and um, so this will probably be my new backdrop for a while. Um, so yeah, now that we've gotten that out of the way, 34 weeks. Um, I don't know why, but this feels like such a milestone week. Um, like it's not like a huge week. It just, it feels like one for some reason. <laughs> so we've hit 34 weeks, which is incredibly exciting. This week, she is still anywhere from like four and a half to six pounds. So probably pretty close to five, five and a half pounds at this point, which is really exciting. Um, she's just getting bigger by the day. And it's crazy like how much I feel her. Like when I place my hand on my stomach, I'm constantly feeling like a foot or a butt or a head or something. Um, I am unsure if she is still breech. Um, some days I could swear she's head down based on where her kicks are and then I'm feeling her hiccups really low in my pelvis. And um, you know, when I kind of like feel for like her, the, her general body position, um, like my midwife showed me kind of how to like press my stomach and, and feel for how the baby's laying like belly mapping Sometimes when I do that, it seems like she's head down But then sometimes when I do it, I'm like is she head up like footling breach and then sometimes I do it and I'm like Is she still transverse breach? <laughs> my midwife is so much better at it than I am because she knows exactly what she's feeling for Whereas I am not as experienced So but some days it really feels like she's turned back and she's head down again and then other days I have my doubts so I find out a week from today if she is still breech so my 35 week update will include that information um, if she is still breech or not so I'm hoping to be able to give you all some good news on that front uh, once that appointment rolls around um, my weight gain this week is a bit high I've gained two pounds this week, so I'm now sitting at 252 pounds even. I'm not surprised that I gained two pounds this week though, because I had my birthday celebration at my parents' house. So it was like this huge birthday bash dinner, and there was cake and ice cream and all this crazy stuff. And then I had my baby shower. So this past week, I have had two kind of like pig out days where there was a lot of like cake and ice cream and cookies and just like snacks. Um, so I haven't really, so this past week, I've kind of indulged a bit. So the weight gain doesn't really surprise me. So two pounds this week, um, still not so bad. Um, my symptoms this week primarily are fatigue and heartburn. Um, I am so tired, I'm just so exhausted. It doesn't even matter how much sleep I get anymore. Um, I just I have a hard time getting comfortable and so at like when I lay down in bed just because I think my belly size at this point and I'm constantly warm it's hard for me to cool down and especially you know living in South Florida it's so hot outside <laughs> and so I'm I feel like I'm constantly running warm so laying down to bed at night I, I love to sleep in the cold like when it's really cold but since you know I'm pregnant in the dead of the heat it's hard to find that happy medium and get cold so I can sleep so I have a hard time falling asleep and then a very restless sleep once I'm sleeping either due to really really bizarre pregnancy dreams that have started to happen or I'm constantly waking up to use the restroom or with heartburn so uh, sleep has been very interrupted lately um, which I know is all just part of it um, but I am I'm now at this point I'm constantly tired and wanting to take naps and go to bed early and <clears throat> pretty much by 10 o'clock each night I'm like okay I reached my limit I need to go to bed now I'm exhausted which isn't so bad because 10 o'clock is a pretty decent bedtime anyway um my other major symptom is heartburn um it is still very frequent and very intense <laughs> um but I am just kind of combating it day by day taking it day by day and uh it's not unbearable by any stretch of the imagination, but it is very, very noticeable. Um, as I previously mentioned, I had my baby shower on Friday and 
it was amazing. Uh, we had a wonderful turnout. We had 17 people come out for it and they weren't all here at once. They kind of came in shifts because like my work friends kind of came and then um, my husband's work friends kind of came and um, we all just like did shifts based on when work was starting for everybody. But the grand total we had 17 people come out. I will be doing a shower haul video. I do have some packages on their way in the mail, so I think I'm gonna wait for those to get here so I can just do one sweeping haul video instead of having to do several different ones. I'll just wait till the end of this week for those packages to get here, and then I'll just do that haul video all in one. So keep your eyes open for that at some point this week, more than likely. Um, and then the big news this week is that it is actually gonna be my last week at work. Um, I remember last week in my vlog, I said I thought that I was forgetting something important to tell you guys, and this is what it was. Um, my boss and I really talked about it, and um, he feels best because it's such a physically strenuous job, and it requires a lot out of you physically. He thinks it would be best if I stopped after 35 weeks. So I am 34 weeks and one day today. I have today, tomorrow, and Wednesday off of work, and I'll be working Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and then that's it, and then I will be done. Um, so this coming Saturday will be my last day at work. Um, it's kind of bittersweet. I've been there for two and a half years. You know, I have a love-hate relationship with the job. It is very demanding. It is very hard, and honestly, a lot of the customers are total pains in the neck. But I've also met some really, really sweet people and um, made some great friendships. And some of them have actually given me gifts for the baby, like for the shower. So, you know, I, like I've made some meaningful relationships there. So I definitely will be sad to leave, but I think it is time. It is becoming more and more difficult for me to keep up. I do think I could do it for another week or two, but at the same time, I'm really glad that this is my last week because then I can just stay home and focus on preparing for her arrival and preparing myself for her arrival and just being able to focus on keeping these last few weeks of pregnancy as tranquil and healthy as I can and spending as much time with my son one-on-one -on -one as I can before this baby comes, you know, so he doesn't feel kind of pushed aside in all the preparation. So I'm kind of glad I'll have that extra time to spend with him. So it's definitely a plus. I will miss working in that it gives me something to do every day, um, but I, I won't miss the physical labor part of it. So it is bittersweet that I am stopping. Um, at this time, I'm not sure if I will be returning to that job. I do have a few other offers for once I've healed up from having this baby. Um, that I will be exploring some other options for jobs um, But we'll see I may wind up going back um, But I could wind up going in a completely different completely new direction So of course I will keep you all posted as things develop in that area But just know that this Saturday is my last day of work um, So I might once I hit like 38 weeks or something I might try to do like a daily till baby type vlogging, like do like day in the life stuff to show you like how we're preparing and what we're doing every day till the baby. But then at the same time, if I miss a day or something, you might all think I'm in labor and <laughs> get all excited. So I'm still debating on that. I am, I am mixed on that. Um, but once I'm off of work, I definitely will be able to get more videos up because I will have more time. So these next couple weeks, um, be expecting some more different videos. I promise I will get the potty learning video for my son up. That will happen. Um, but yeah, I think that's really all the news for this week. Um, not a huge week, but still some big things happening. So I think that's really it. So I'll show you guys my bump and we'll wrap this on up. So here we go. This is the 34 week bump the front and the other side and then I guess I'll just do that side and the 
front and from the other side. So, yep, that's the <laughs> that's the magic. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all so much as always for all of your love and support. If you have any requests for videos that you want to see me do in the coming weeks as I have more time, please leave them below. I love getting your video suggestions. Um, but yeah, um, as always, thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye.